What's up friends, it's your boy Bernard for Rails, and on this video I'll be talking about how creativity really works. And if you're new to the channel, this is the Bernard for Rails channel where I share with you information that helps you become the best you that you can be. Now let's get into the video. Now I always think about creativity. The first thing that usually comes to mind is like spending 30 days in some basement somewhere and racking your head for hours and hours hours on end on one problem until eventually finally by some stroke of providence or some divine touch your mind produces a brainchild that solves that problem that perplexed you for many days and when we talk about the concept of creativity some really popular names come to mind like isaac newton pablo picasso or even leonardo da vinci and if you're like most people i'm sure you're probably thinking like this guys are geniuses i don't think i could ever be as creative as they were well now creativity is not exactly you spending 30 days in some cramped up room or you going on a wilderness journey or even an apple dropping on your head but in fact it's quite easy for normal people like us to actually come up with creative ideas and solutions to problems that we may face in our day-to-day -day lives now in this video i'll be sharing with you guys three ideas on how creativity actually works and hopefully you understand it well enough to apply it into your day-to-day -day lives now let's get into it. Now the first idea in this video is creativity isn't formed in a vacuum. This basically means everything that you see is actually formed from something else, almost like in biology, like the first law of cells. All cells come from previously existing cells. Same with creativity. It's actually quite easy to fall into the trap of thinking that creative people actually come up with completely novel ideas that is totally new from everything that has ever existed in the planet. But in fact, really creative people actually spend a lot of time consuming from other creative people. Just like what Isaac Newton said, if I have seen further than others, it is by standing upon the shoulders of giants. So basically, even Isaac Newton attested to this fact. Now the second idea in this video is the easiest way to be creative is to imitate. Now there's a really cool saying that I heard from a writer called David Perel, which goes like this, imitate, then innovate. Because it's a whole lot difficult for you to actually start creative pursuits from scratch. Like, unless maybe you got some divine inspiration from God or something. And even with that, it's another thing to actually create what people want. Now this is because imitating the best in the field you want to be creative in actually helps you to understand the mechanics behind the craft that you're actually imitating. And the best people to imitate are the people you genuinely admire. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm not saying you should imitate blindly. Now, what I'm saying is you should imitate to understand the thinking and thought patterns behind what you are imitating because if you imitate without really understanding the mechanics or the thinking behind what you're imitating it's almost virtually impossible to innovate so the end goal is not to imitate in itself but to imitate and then innovate now i'm going to end this point with a quote from pablo picasso which says good artists copy but great artists steal now the next idea in this video is creativity is undetected plagiarism. Now there's nothing new under the sun according to Solomon in the book of Ecclesiastes. Now what seems new now has probably happened before and what is old now will probably be the next fad of the future. Most times what we call originality or creativity are basically things that has happened before but we weren't really paying attention when it happened and then when it came up again, I don't know, by some stroke of luck, it just blew up and people then tend to term it as creative and original but in essence it's just a repeat of what has actually happened before. Now I'm going to end this point by a quote from William Ralph Inge. It says, what is originality? Undetected plagiarism. And guys, question of the day, if there are things that you do to actually get more creative to solve the problems that you are facing in your current life or in whatever you do, please put it down in the comments below so we can be more enlightened like you are. And guys, if you like this video, please like and if you like type of content, please subscribe. And if you like this video, you may like a video somewhere on the end screen. And yeah. And guys, and guys, remember to always keep it real. Bye guys.